Hey everyone, my name is Joshua D'Souza. I'm an engineer here at WebApp.io. And in today's tutorial, we're gonna go through secrets. So specifically how you can add secrets through the WebApp.io portal and actually display them and use them when you're actually committing your layer files for the preview environments that you wanna set up or for any layer file commits that you have. So first we're gonna head off to the WebApp.io page and we can just go to our dashboard. If you haven't already, please sign in or sign up. So when we're on our dashboard, we can actually head over to the secrets tab and over here, we're going to head over to the top right and click on the new secret button. Here, we can actually create a name for our secret. So we're going to say this is web app tutorial. We can give this a value. And just to view this value, this is going to be test underscore value. And then we can expose which repository this key is actually available to. In this case, we're just going to be using the web app.io docs example repository that I have on my GitHub profile. Here we can just create a secret, close this. Now that we have the secret exposed over here, we can actually use the secret in the layer files that we have. So we can use it for any project that we wanna have set up or any web app that we want built. So to show this, we're gonna head over to the new installation tab. And on the new installation tab over here, we can install on GitHub, pick the repository where we have the secret exposed, which in this case is the webapp.io docs example. And we can head over to actually commit a layer file. Over here, I'm just gonna change some of the contents for this. And in this layer file, in order to actually use the secret, we have to run the command secret env. And we write the name of the secret that we used. So in our case, you can head back to the secrets over here, just to double check. And this is web app underscore tutorial. So now that we have the secret env key, we can actually start a test run but we're gonna add in one command over here first. And simply, this is just gonna actually print out the web app tutorial secret env. Um, so the secret that we just added, and it's gonna print it to a .env file. And you can use this process if you need to actually create a .env file that your project needs. So to use this environment key, we're gonna actually just write it with a dollar sign in front. We're gonna base64 encode this, and we're gonna output this to a .env file. Now we can simply start a test run here. And in our test run over here, we're just gonna wait for our layer file to complete running. All right, so now our layer file has completed running and we can scroll down to the bottom over here and we can see we have the two steps, which is the secret env web app tutorial, which exposes the secret to the layer file, echoing out the web app tutorial secret over here and putting this in a .env file that's base64 encoded. So to view this, we can actually connect to the debugging terminal. And we'll just give this a second to load. All right, so now that we're connected to our debugging terminal, we can actually run the command echo web app tutorial. We're just gonna do this on a new line. We can see we actually have the test value which we inputted. And we can also run cat.env, which is gonna print the outputs for the .env file that we wrote in this step over here. And this key over here is base64 encoded. So we could actually just copy this over here and run this command again. Base64 decode. And we can see the test value that we have over here. So this is how you can actually use the secrets tab to add secrets with the commands that we can actually use, which is secret env, to expose those secrets in our layer files so we can use them in our project itself. That concludes our tutorial for today. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at hello at webapp.io and we'll be happy to help. Thanks.